Now, why is this homologous series important? We will find out because of its characteristics. Now, the first characteristic is that the functional group if any remains constant throughout the series. It means that CH3OH and C2H5CL uh, will not form a homologous series. Similarly, C2H6 and CH2H5CHO and so on will not form a homologous series. The functional group has to remain constant in all the members of the homologous series. Now secondly, because the functional group is constant and as we know that the functional group determines the chemical properties of the compound, so all the compounds in the series will have same chemical properties. They will have the same chemical properties because an OH group no matter how long the chain is, whether it is CH3OH or C2H5OH or C3H7OH, the chemical properties of all these compounds will be same. That means they'll go the, they'll undergo the same set of reactions, they'll behave similarly towards different uh, substances, etc. But the third property, the third characteristic is that there physical properties will change. Physical properties as in melting point, boiling point, etc. Now, melting point, boiling point is dependent on the molecular weight to a certain extent. It's dependent on the molecular weight of the substance. So, the C2H5OH, C3H7OH, they will have different molecular weights because they differ by this CH2 unit which adds molecular weight to this so, if the molecular weights and similarly all the comp uh, all the compounds in the series will have different molecular weights because they differ by the CH2 unit which adds equal amount of molecular weight to each and every uh, compound in the series. So, since they have different molecular weights, they will have different melting points and boiling points. And in general, they will have different physical properties. But they will have the same chemical properties due to the constant functional group which is present in throughout the series. Okay, so that's all about homologous series.
We now come to very important topic. which is nomenclature or naming. How do you name the compounds? Now, we have already studied a bit about nomenclature when we studied the naming of alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes but the problem arises when the compounds get more and more complicated like if there is a functional group what would be its name if there are branches then what would be its name if there are two or more functional groups then what would be its name so for this IUPAC which whose full form is International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. This IUPAC has set some basic rules of nomenclature. Now, and this IUPAC naming is totally different from the other, like I told you that uh, acetic acid is CH3COOH, but acetic acid is not the IUPAC, IUPAC name of CH3COOH. Similarly, this isobutane and all this isopentane, neopentane, they are all names of compounds, but they are not IUPAC names. IUPAC names are the standard names of the compounds. And we are going to learn about IUPAC names. So, in IUPAC, the first rule to name a compound is count the number of carbon atoms. Now, when suppose you have a compound like this. Uh, let's not go into branching right now. Like this. And you have functional groups also here and there. X, suppose X is a functional group, Y is another functional group, Z is another functional group, like that. So, you count the number of car carbon atoms in the compound. So, we all know that we saw that the prefix used for one carbon atom is meth, two carbon atoms is eth, three carbon atoms is prop, four is but, five is pent, and six is hex. So, same applies over here. Count the number of carbon atoms and if suppose the number of carbon atoms is 5, then first name the compound as pentane. Now, this pentane, this is pentane, but we have an OH group over here. So, we need to modify this name, pentane, and all these functional groups have suffixes or prefixes for their naming. Just like the alkanes, alkenes, alkynes have ane, in, and ein for their naming, the functional groups also have suffixes or prefixes. Now, let me give you a table of the suffixes or prefixes. <coughs> 